Hey, hi everyone. Welcome again to the specialized automation. So I wish everyone is doing well. So myself Aditya, and today in this video I will be discussing about the Python setup in Selenium and whatever. Okay. So whatever the video I have shared earlier regarding it is mostly based on Java. And so let's move into one of the most famous interpreted language, or you can say the scripting language, uh, Python. Okay. So why we use Python? So there is lots and lots of advantages using Python. So code you write, you need to write less code. The methods uh, that selenium methods that are provided with the python is more uh, efficient okay and the most important technique uh, most important things that like in python that the white space delimit uh, identification indentation technique okay to delimit the code so the indentation technique is basically the important part to remove all the curly brackets and to make your code looks more clean and then another important thing is that as Python is a scripting language, so we don't need to write, uh, we don't need to compile our code. It will rather get uh, interpreted by the Python exe at the runtime. And we can write our code even with the class and even without not class. Okay. So let's get started with the Python setup first in Selenium. So for Python setup in your system, it's basically very easy. Just go to the Google website and search and download Python. So you will get the website. Go to their website, visit their website, python.org downloads. So you'll get the options download Python, the latest version for Windows, download Python 3.6.3, and download Python 2.7.4. So just click on the download Python 3.6.3. For my case, I already have downloaded this file. This will be around like 29 MB. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the file Python. This is the file application file 29 and you can see this is the file you can download from this uh, website. Okay, so after downloading this website, just install this file and make sure you are installing to some particular location. That location you need to mention your environment variables. So for my case, I've installed this Python exe file in my C Python. Okay, so this path you need to mention. This path will be containing all the DLLs, library files, including docs, script file, license, everything. And in the script file, it will be containing on the application style that will be useful, helpful while we're doing Python programming. Okay. So the path C Python script, this will be mentioned along with C Python. So all these two paths you need to mention in the environment variables. So to add it to the environment variables, just go to this. Uh, Windows sections just search environment variables. Then edit the environment variables just like how we used to add environment variables for Java, Maven, Cucumber, for everything Android. Just we need to add this same thing here. So you can create one simple variable like uh, Python home, okay? Or you can directly just add this path to the path itself. So that in the system variable in the path folder. You need to add i for my case already added let me show you so the python script and the python this is the two path i already added and if you are already added python script as a python home just you need to mention inside the percentage okay python home you can also do that so don't need as of now just provide the path in the path variable system path variables it will be enough okay so after adding all those things in the path system path variable just click on ok and then click on ok so now everything we have set up for Python installing and we have set the environment variables. Now if we launch our um, command prompt and if you click just type uh, type here Python, so we'll get to see uh, all these things, the current Python version 3.6.3, all these things I'm getting. And here is one of the important command is uh, PIP. But from here let me show you. PIP basically like Python uh, index packaging, okay? Or we can say Python package index, okay? So just uh, write Python package index PIP. So we'll get to know all the things. Uh, all the uh, let me just uh, so inside this commands all the things we can see how to install, how to download. If you want to download some things and answer something, download something, list, you know, show something. There's help command also that has been given help. So, typing will help. It will give you lots of directory in Python. Okay. 
so python basically you can run it from uh, the command line also you can run it from the gui to run it from the gui you will need to have one id so eclipse is the id if you are already using it's one of the popular id so the eclipse user can go for pydev plugin that can be downloaded about the eclipse marketplace pydev plugin okay this plugin i'm talking about pydev plugin So this can be available over the Eclipse marketplace and for my case I'll be I'm using the PyCharm this is the most uh, prominent features containing all the features of the Python so I'll be using this this ID basically like this ID cause it much more advanced than I found uh, using PyDev in Eclipse okay there are basically two versions if you go to their website the JetBrains website you will get the professional versions that will be in for trial Another one is the community version. So uh, for my case, I'm using the latest community version. So click on the download. So once you click on the download, it will start get downloaded. So I've already downloaded this to my software folder, Python, and this is the Python community. Ignore all the other files. This is the Python community file. This is the application file. It will be near around 157 MB. Okay. So this Python community file you need to install. You need to install to your machine this is the ID basically so for my case I have already installed it where it is located let me show you I have installed my C drive program files JetBrains PyCharm community editions okay so this is the whole this is where I have installed my PyCharm uh, uh, for Python ID now next thing um, is we need to install Selenium so to install selenium the good thing is that for if you are if you are if you are using uh, uh, java we need to download the selenium jar file from from the website right and you need to add it to the project build path unlike python we don't have to do anything do that we can just write simply command like uh, pip install minus u selenium for my case already i have downloaded this and installed this so after setting up your environment variables if you pass the command python packaging index uh, python package index install minus u selenium so you can see it's uh, collecting collecting data collecting selenium so downloaded the selenium 100% is completed okay the so same way if you want to download anything any software we can download it through this okay pip through the pip command uh, let's uh, now open the PyCharm that I already have installed. Downloaded and installed. It will take some time. Let's wait. So after opening this pie jam, first you need to create one project. I have already created one project, so I hope it will appear. Now I will show you by creating one uh, new project. First, it's loading my uh, whatever the project currently I'm handling. So give it some time. So my Python PyCharm uh, successfully opened. It's showing tips of the day. Let me close the tips. Let me close this as of now. Okay. Uh, let me close this also. So first we'll get this, this such type of window, blank window. Now what you need to do? We need to create one project. So file, new project. Sorry. File, new project. Now you need to create one project. So provide the project locations. Why the your project will be located? Let me show this. Like suppose my project name is Aditya, and see the interpreter you have to provide. As I already told, Python is the interpreter language or the scripting language that will be compiled. That 
doesn't need to be compiled it will get interpreted at the runtime by the python exe that i've downloaded so the interpreter path mentions project location mentions just click on create so it will create one project so open in the current window open in new window open in current window okay so this way the project has been created okay and this external library will contain all the files all the details uh, just don't need to dig into that whatever you need to install we have already installed the selenium okay and this project structure basically contains this way now you need to create one uh, project file over there a directory i guess um, just create on a directory directory name suppose test directory you are creating so create test this PyCharm feature basically inspired, we can say it's from IntelliJ IDEA features. So from the Aditya, uh, one test has been created. The next thing we can do, just click on the test, we need to create one uh, Python file. So Python file, there is a two options, we can just create a Python simple class file or Python init test. As of now, I'll be using only the Python file, name it like as a demo test. So author I can see that by default the author name will get uh, printed because this is already fetching the author name from my local system. Uh, we can also do modify all those things, go to the settings command. Instead of setting commands, appearance, behavior, key map editor, everything in the general section we can edit. Okay. So just uh, do some experiment with it. And in case of any issue or we are not able to add something, uh, some kind of exception we are getting uh, it's one of the very important features the invalidate cache and register it will help pull. so you have to sometimes use the features invalidate cache and register okay so this is the first python file test of python file that i've created now we'll write some test so i've already created another file or another project file so we don't need it as of now let me just open this uh, layer one. Mm. Let me show you. PyCharm project, Selenium, Python. Open a new window. So currently we are having two window. So for the PyCharm, uh, this project already I've created, uh, inside that, uh, inside the script folder, I've created one demo project, let me show you. So see, what I was doing in case of Java, we need to import, we need to use this, uh, like, like import, then we need to use the command, import uh, selenium.org.driver.firefox driver, from the prefer way is to, preferable way, you, mm, way, use from particular uh, that uh, class library then import the particular whatever we need okay this is the preferable to write whatever we'll be importing in java so like slightly difference let's see what i'm basically doing driver equal to webdriver.chrome we do we are not required to write one class okay so we will be required to write class in case of unit testing so driver equal to webdriver.chrome simply passing the chrome driver exe and the page load timeout the 20 i'm passing so driver.get, this is the new to new to down dim out. Uh, this is the time website I'm getting. Driver.maxima you window implicit know it. So we can see the lots of things, features uh, that has been uh, announced in uh, in Python. Even driver that close and driver that close. This is a simple functions. Let me just quickly run it. Okay, successfully run successfully, open, maximize and close. So process finished with exit code zero. I'm not printing anything. Okay, that's what. If you want to print the driver dot title, you can just simply print that driver dot title. So it will print the driver title. Run it.
maximize then print welcome market it is okay so lots of thing has been enhanced from this uh, and you can also have the slip timeout uh, smart timeout implicit timeout okay that implicit data will dimensions like from time import slip you can also use this like after loading if you want to wait for some time so what basically we are doing in case of java threader sleep just need to wait sleep okay in case of you want to take some screenshot you can also do that so what we need to do driver dot get screenshot as file okay you need to provide the full file name this uh, you need to provide uh, suppose c home dot png so if you run this one uh, one uh, file will get created home png will get png file has been created okay so you can see the screenshot taking is also very easy in python now so that's all for today guys uh, that i have covered uh, how we can uh, install python use pycharm to write our basic selenium script so in my next tutorial i'll be covering to how you can write unit test in uh, python okay writing unit test this way okay i'll be calling the base functions and normal setup functions so what is what will be my uh, tr the setup tr down method everything i'll be writing and we're creating one unit test okay so that's all for today and if you have more to know please do let me know in the below comment sections and if you like this video please do not forget to support and subscribe this video okay and do not forget to watch my next video that will be basically for unit test so have a good day everyone bye bye